Hello, my YouTube viewer base. Uh, as you could probably tell from the title, I am quitting YouTube uh, indefinitely. Uh, I might be back at some point, but maybe not. Uh, I just kind of kind of lost the love of it to be honest it became one of those things where it was more about getting a video out than it was about uh you know making something i actually want to make or uploading something i thought was good it was it just kind of turned into something where i was like i just have to upload something so i'll, I'll shit out whatever i can and that has just kind of killed my my passion for it unfortunately um but you never know Maybe in a couple of years' time, the return of greed could happen, and uh, maybe it would be as great as I imagine it would be, but it probably won't be, uh, because I'm not that entertaining. Um, it's been a good run, though. It's been about two years or so. Um, a very fun two years, you know? A lot of really nice people have been watching me for, for a very long time, and I really appreciate that, but I just think, like, right now, I think it's time that I move on and do something else. Uh, and so, to consolidate this, I will be reading a chat GPT generated version of the Overwatch lore up until January 2022. As just to, like, you know, as, you know, to, uh, you know, because, you know, because I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just like, so, because I'm, because, right, so, so, it's because, well, you, uh, okay, so, well, you know, uh, so, uh, it's, okay, well, how do, okay, well, okay, so, what, uh, when I, okay, so, when I started, um, I, oh, uh, so, um, so, when I started, I, you know, I started with a, I started with, um, you know, I started with a, I started with a, I started with Counter Trick actually, so this doesn't actually apply at all. However, I'm going to be reading the lore anyway. So, Overwatch, Blizzard Entertainment's multiplayer first person shooter has captivated audiences, not only with its fast paced gameplay, but also with its intricate and evolving lore. Set in a technologically advanced future Earth recovering from a global crisis, Overwatch weaves together a tapestry of characters, conflicts, and alliances, shaping a vibrant world that continues to unfold with each new update and expansion. Let me take a sip of my tea. The story of Overwatch begins in the aftermath of the Omnic Crisis, a global conflict sparked by the emergence of highly advanced artificial intelligence known as Omnics. These self-aware robots rebelled against their human creators, plunging the world into chaos. In response, the United Nations, otherwise known as completely fucking useless, formed Overwatch, an international task force composed of the world's most elite soldiers, scientists, and adventurers dedicated to restoring peace and stability to the planet. Central to the Overwatch narrative are its diverse cast of heroes, each with their own unique backgrounds, motivations, and abilities. Among the most iconic figures is Soldier 76, the vigilante alter ego of Jack Morrison. One of the original founders of Overwatch, driven by a sense of duty and justice, Soldier 76 seeks to uncover the truth behind the organization's downfall and brings to light the corruption that plagues it. Opposing Soldier 76 is Reaper, a mysterious enigmatic mercenary with a dark past. Once a member of Overwatch himself, Reaper turned against his former allies driven by a thirst for power and revenge. Possessing his ability to manipulate shadows and teleport at will, Reaper strikes fear into the hearts of his enemies as he carries out his sinister agenda. Beyond these two antagonistic figures lies a myriad of other compelling characters, each contributing their own unique perspective to the overarching narrative. Tracer, the plucky British pilot, 
with the ability to manipulate time, serves as a symbol of hope and optimism in the face of adversity. Winston, a genetic greetings, a genetically engine- engineered gorilla and a brilliant scientist, brilliant move on chess.com, struggles to reconcile his pacifist ideals, pacifist ideals with the violence that surrounds him. The lore of Overwatch is not confined solely to its heroes, however. The world itself is... (laughs) ...character in its own right, with richly detailed environments and a history that stretches back centuries. From the bustling streets of London to the ancient temples of Nepal, Each location tells a story of its own, offering glimpses into the diverse cultures and civilizations that inhabit this futuristic earth. One of the central events in Overwatch lore is the fall of the organization itself. Amidst allegations of corruption and abuse of power, Overwatch was disbanded by the United Nations. Its former members scattered to the winds, yet even in the face of this betrayal, the legacy of Overwatch lives on as its former members continue to fight for justice and uphold the values of heroism and sacrifice. As the story of Overwatch continues to unfold through animated shorts, comics, and in-game events, one thing remains clear. The world of Overwatch is a dynamic and ever-changing landscape filled with heroes, villains, and everything in between. With each new revelation and twist, the lore of Overwatch grows deeper and more intricate, inviting players to immerse themselves in a universe, brimming with possibility and adventure. In conclusion, Overwatch lore is a testament to the power of storytelling in video games, offering players a rich and immersive world to explore and discover. Apart from when they tried to age all the heroes and then completely fucked every single part of the lore because people were like, getting pregnant at 12 and like Kerry Co is like four or something I don't know uh, from the ashes of the Omnic crisis to the downfall of Overwatch itself the narrative of Overwatch is a tale of heroism betrayal and redemption one that continues to captivate audiences around the world Please note that the lore may have evolved further since my last update in January 2022. So I recommend check. Oh, I'm not meant to. Okay, never mind. I'm not meant to read that part. Okay, so that's that's my say goodbye video. Um, I just thought I'd keep it kind of like, you know, I have that sweetness to it because I didn't start with Overwatch because I forgot and then I read the lore that ChatGPT wrote for me. <laughs>